in the midst of stay at home, enjoying our comfy clothes, maybe wearing makeup, or maybe not, but our hair is something that we should definitely be considering right now because that's a whole other story. Here with a fresh look on maintaining our locks at home is Rod Sickler, Salon and Spa. And we have Rod here joining us today. Rod, how's it going? Yeah, it's going well. It's, it's good to get my hands in some hair again, even if it's not live. It's real hair, but uh, it's just great to touch some hair. I know we're a non-essential business uh, deemed right now. However, I believe that there will be a lot of clients that are going to feel very our essential need once the, we're able to get back to work. Let's just say there's a reason I have my hair up right now, so I <laughs> totally understand. Um, but what are some of the common problems that people are seeing with their hair right now? Uh, a couple things that, that I want to talk about today. One is is how do you camouflage the gray right now, right? A lot of people are having gray, and and if you conceive it with me, I, uh, I'm almost 100% gray in my beard and around the edges, and I'm not coloring or doing anything. One thing I did do is I took my beard really short uh, because it's a great... Uh, uh, venue to harbor germs and then also what what I did was I took uh, a mascara just a normal mascara that you would get uh, in in you know a, a pharmacy a, a Walmart sort of thing and I just and you can go through and just paint it on just through that and it's works really well with darker hair and then of course I painted around the edges where I'm really gray through here and all through that, so it really camouflages the gray. One of the big things, though, I think that will help a, a, a lot of, of, especially women at home, is working with their parts. Uh, because what happens is a lot of times gray doesn't gray equally, so that if you will go in and maybe move your part around, if you wear it in the middle, maybe wear it to the side, Probably most people don't wear their parts in the right place anyway because it's due to your facial shaping. Your hairdresser can talk to you about that. But one of the things that, that you'll find that I did here, I want to show you a, a quick way to part your hair to make it easy to touch it up and to camouflage. There's also, uh, you know, in different stores like Myers, places like that, there's also some touch-ups that you can get some touch-up sprays. But the key to this is when you do the part, you only take about two fingers back, so you're going to kind of trick everyone. No one's really tall enough to see the top of your head. If you take just about two fingers and comb the rest of this back, like so, and then when you look at it straight on, it looks like your hair's parted all the way back, and I have a mannequin that is dry. Rod, this is, this is so smart. I never thought about using my part well, and moving it around to hide a few things. Yeah, move around because gray never grays in the same way, right? So some people are maybe more gray over here than over here. Just move your part around for now. But you can see, I only have two fingers back. But if you get, if you look, it looks like it goes all the way back. No one's going to look over the top of your head. And the beautiful thing about this, on top of this too, then you can also go in and just lightly back comb your hair a little bit to give it a little bit of volume, which people want anyway. But the key to this too is that when you do this, it actually gives you, because your hair grows forward, it's going to give you more natural volume. I usually tell all my clients when we blow dry their hair, go three to four back because you don't want to go all the way back to the round of the head, which is that's where the comb heater's back here. So if you do this, you can trick it, and then all you have to do is just touch up around the edges and just that little bit right there, and it really is going to hide the gray for you. That is fantastic. Rod, you told me earlier that... Um Cutting your own bangs at home is not something you would normally recommend, but these are unique times. So will you demonstrate for us how people can yes. maybe attempt that? Uh, well, and, and a couple things I want to say, too, with color. Don't do color at home. Uh, just wait for your hairdresser. If you, if you do do it, please tell the hairdresser because we're going to have to probably fix what you did. <laughs> and the box size that you get over the counter, they're not strong enough. And seldom do we ever, ever use what is on the swatch. If you pick a swatch, we, we, we're usually mixing three to four colors to get that. One thing that I will say too, that uh, at Rod Sickler Salon and Spa, we have our ID hair color bombs. So if you're interested, we can actually do, like they're doing telemedicine right now, we can do telehair. You can call into the salon and uh, we can actually custom make. Now, you can't come pick it up because we're not essential, but we actually will deliver a custom color just for you, okay? Okay. So that's all color bombs at Rod Sickler Salon and Spa, and I'm gonna show you a quick way to cut the bangs to get you through. Now, in 41 years of doing hair, I've never shared this with other than hairdressers. All right, Aaron, so. Wow. These are strange, and 
strange times, and I would rather people cut their bangs at home than try to have someone else do them not socially distant. So the key to this really with cutting bangs is more than, uh, it takes very little time to cut. It's all about the part. You never wanna go more than a third of the way back from the top of the head. If this is the round of the head, so it's one, two, three, no more than a third of the way back. And the best way to do this is to comb these together. Always cut them longer than what you think you're going to need. Okay. Because they will shrink, especially if they're wet. Ron, I'm going to give you a heads up. We're getting a little short on time here. How close are we to getting those banks chopped? Right here. Very Use the nice. point of your scissors, just like so. That okay. That way make them less blunt. And when you converge the ends together like this, it naturally frames the face like this. It's that simple. Longer, and then always cut them longer. You can always go shorter. You can't go longer with bangs. Okay, Rod, really quickly, I want to talk about how you're using Facebook to uh, serve healthcare workers right now. Can, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I wore blue today as, as, in respect and a thank you to all the frontline healthcare workers. Right now, if you go to Rod Sickler Salon and Spa on Facebook, like us, nominate a healthcare worker right now because when we can get back to work, we're going to give at least three, probably up to five spa days to say thank you to some of the frontline healthcare workers. Uh, so that's Rod Stickler Salon and Spa. Nominate a healthcare worker so that we can uh, pick someone when this is all over. Also, I'd like to say too that now's a good time to book online. You can go also to RodSickler.com and book online because we are going to be very busy, I think, when people can get back to us. So uh, try to get ahead of the curve and uh, come on in and uh, get your appointments now because I know I'm already working open to close six days a week <laughs> once we come back. Rod, thank you so, so much. And we will connect you guys to all those web pages online at ciliving.tv. Stay safe out there, Rod. Thank you.